Good evening. How does a community improve? I think the answer is simple, great schools. With great schools, property values rise. When property values go up, uh, there's the opportunity to generate more revenue to improve schools. Uh, a great quality of life attracts people to come and live and work in a particular community. We tax payroll taxes in order to fund a uh, great quality of life in different communities. And incidentally, this picture may be of many of the people who are in this room. Uh, the city of Dublin or Dublin City Schools has this year, once again, the greatest number of uh, National Merit Scholar semifinalists uh, in the state of Ohio for a fourth year in a row. So the city of Dublin has great schools and that's a big part of why our community is doing quite so well. How does a community improve its revenue? And you notice I said improve revenue and not increase revenue. Because uh, cities are not in the business of just raising more money. That's not what we're here to do. But we do want to be in a position, and this is the way to think about it, to improve the reliability, the stability, and the quality of the revenues that we do have. When we do that, we actually generate a higher quantity of revenue. So, if we want to keep our taxes simple and stable, then we need to increase the salaries and the amount of money that people actually make, and that's good for you. So let's just say you earn $100, and our tax is uh, 1%. 1% of $100 is $1, and that's how much uh, we would generate. If you're earning $150, that same 1% tax rate would yield the city $1.50. Not necessarily a realistic example, but the point is, is that when incomes rise, tax revenues rise without necessarily increasing tax rates. So salaries are important. And we generally get to better salaries when we rise up in, in the roll curve. And jobs and careers that generate greater salary levels uh, generate greater tax revenues for the city of Dublin, enabling us to create a greater, greater quality of life for all of our residents. And that's what the name of the game is. So I'm a tech professional, which means that I'm mobile. Uh, my skills are in demand, and I can go anywhere in the world. Uh, I'm in great demand, and I'm more likely to go someplace where my quality of life is going to be what I would like it to be. The choice is all mine. In addition, the technology is allowing uh, all of us to work wherever we'd like increasingly. We can work from home. We can work in a co-working space. We can work in a coffee shop. Or we can work in a normal office building. Since I can work wherever I want, why would I choose to work someplace where I'm not happy? I would naturally choose to, to go where I'm the most happy and the most comfortable. But I'm also a black tech professional which means that my quality of life is influenced by my level of comfort in my work environment. And here's the bad news. A lot of people of color are not happy and comfortable in their work environment. Uh, I chose this picture because this is a pretty standard tech team. And if you are a black tech professional, you may be entering into teams where the comfort level is not that high for you, and that's relevant to what we're trying to do as a community. I co-founded Black Tech Columbus along with 10 other co-founders to create an authentic space for black tech professionals to connect, collaborate, and create. We host learning communities where tech professionals can be exposed to uh, different career pathways that will enable them to rise up the career tech ladder in whatever their industry is. Uh, we promote professional development <coughs> so that tech professionals can gain access to mentors, to sponsors, and robust personal uh, professional networks. And we do social networking so that we can just gather together in a low pressure environment, enjoy each other's company, and create personal relationships with each other uh, that enable us to be happier in our work uh, environment. 
And this year, Black Tech Columbus hosted its first conference, and it was done right here in the city of Dublin. So why is this important? Those companies that are hiring tech professionals and people who earn more money are changing the way that they do business. It used to be that companies would select an area that they really liked, and then they would try to attract professionals to come and move there and work for them. That's changing. Now companies look for the people that they want and that they're interested in and that have the talent that they need, and they're just moving their companies to wherever those people are. So that quality of life and people being interested in moving to a community and a certain style of work has become more and more important because companies are not going to go where they want. They're going to go where you are, and they're going to locate uh, where that's concerned. This is very, very important for the city of Dublin. In addition to this, success in tech is now becoming success in innovation. It's no longer about banging out lines of code and just generating lots of uh, technology excellence. Uh, innovation is a matter of being able to uh, generate uh, new ideas and new solutions to difficult problems, both in technology as well as in other fields uh, as well. And it's been proven that diverse teams produce more creative, consistent, and fast results than the same kind of a team that has less diversity. So it's very important that we, are, we create an environment where there are more, uh, there's access to more diverse teams and that we, that we talk about it and that we publicize the availability of a diverse talent uh, pool within our community. And even if you don't believe that that's true, it doesn't matter because the companies that are generating the highest revenues and that are the most successful, they believe it's true. And they're making their decisions based on the tight labor markets in the places that they are. And they're seeking out places where people are happier, where they want to live, and uh, that's how the economy is going now. In the city of Dublin, we're doing quite well in this. We've actually presented to the world an extraordinary combination of amenities, of a workforce, of great schools, and other great benefits. So Dublin needs Black Tech Columbus in order to create an environment where diverse technology teams are comfortable and where they want to live where their quality of life is excellent. Because when those teams uh, live and work in Dublin and, and outside companies can see uh, us being here, uh, they're going to come here and locate here, creating more jobs for us. And that virtuous circle uh, continues. But I also created uh, Black Tech Columbus for myself uh, because I wanted a place to feel comfortable and uh, be at ease in my own workplace. And so if a person like me and my talent is important to bring into the city of Dublin, uh, then the city of Dublin needs Black Tech Columbus. Thank you.